Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Thursday, November 1st, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Will the Halo 4 launch give Microsoft's Windows Azure a boost in developer usage? Here with his breaking analysis on the latest Azure news is SiliconANGLE contributing editor John Casaretto. Welcome back, John. Good morning. Next week, Halo 4 will launch running on Windows Azure to power the entire multiplayer experience. Microsoft is using this opportunity to promote Windows Azure as the platform of choice for building and running applications. What is Microsoft saying that's enticing these developers? Well, Microsoft has uh, definitely got a lot of interest in building up the, the Azure platform and really get getting a lot of developers to come forward and uh, come over to, to this side of the grass. Um, in terms of Halo 4, um, they're they're touting a bunch of uh, features um, that basically you know advantages that they've had in, in uh, bringing this um, forward um, and then bringing this announcement to light. Um, they were able to cut costs by more than sixty percent from the previous release. Um, the team reduced development time with high levels of infrastructure automation, um, so they were able to turn in and replatform the entire code base in less than a year. Uh, flexible on-demand architecture. Um, of Windows Azure, definitely a big feature. Um, each developer was able to use their own development environment and that allowed development and testing to run in parallel. Uh, so all of these things are, are pieces and elements of uh, you know, a growing and dynamic uh, you know, cloud-based environment that, that really helped them develop this uh, in, in a quick and efficient way and, and brought the platform to light and, and in the end uh, brought a lot of cost savings as well. Are developers buying into these claims that this is the most complete platform to build on regardless of their preferred language, tool, or framework? No, not, not, all, not everyone is buying into that, especially the non-.NET developers. Um, now Microsoft has added uh, you know, a bunch of support across the spectrum. Um, some of the non-Microsoft languages, um, for example, like PHP and, and Node.js. Um, but, you know, that's a big issue. Um, it, it, the big issue here is that trust um, is not really there, that, that Microsoft is really supporting them as well as they probably, you know, could be. Um, uh, that's not really based on much other than, you know, it's somewhat new. Um, so it's a hurdle that Microsoft is looking at. They have to get, you know, through that. And if they want to attract developers, um, you know, in addition to the enterprise developers, you know, they're going to have to really, you know, get past those those types of conceptions. How does Microsoft justify pushing developers to use the Azure platform when Microsofts themselves aren't even using it? Well, that's a big misconception. Many of their services are actually running on that platform or, or they're in the process. Um, remember that the scale of some of these operations that, that we're talking about, you know, uh, moving things like Office 365 out there, moving you know some of their their leading their bleeding edge services um, onto Azure. I mean, it's a lot of scale, um, but we know for a fact that you know Bing Maps runs on Azure. Um, there's a number of other integration points. There's a bunch of new features and other ways to interface with the service. So you know we can expect more and more of Microsoft's products um, to to really to really be based in the Azure platform as opposed to you know, the, the legacy environments that they, they once were grown in. In other Azure news, Windows Azure mobile services will now support Windows Phone 8. Can you tell us a little more about the Azure mobile services? What what does it do? Well, it's basically stood up to serve as, as a back end for Windows 8 apps. Um, so using the platform, developers are able to, to store data in the cloud, authenticate users, uh, send push n notifications to clients. It's basically the ecosystem that, that drives the, the Windows 8 application base. So um, now that's based in Azure, it's in the cloud, all the benefits of the cloud, and uh, you know it's, it's high performance, and you know they're really building that up as well. What will this new support for Windows Phone 8 mean? Well, Basically, by using Windows Azure as uh, the backend engine for push notifications, um, basically you, you're you're basically putting everything in one single framework that that can work for all the different formats, allows the apps to be uh, distributed uh, through the Windows Store um, throughout the entire network. Um, so it, it really, you know, puts a, a lot of power into the the Windows Phone 8 ecosystem altogether. 
You mentioned the Windows Store. Microsoft has announced the preview of a new Windows Azure Store. How will that benefit customers? Well, it's, it's a catalog of app services. Um, so anything from monitoring, um, scaling, uh, mail delivery, uh, databases, uh, things like that, things that really support the, the app ecosystem, all, all the different apps that are being developed and are going to be available in, in, the, in the Windows environment. Um, so new services such as New Relic can, uh, you know, is one of the, the things that, that came out. Um, so <clears throat> basically, the ecosystem of partners will become critical feeders in the Windows 8 and, and the Windows 8 platform, Windows Phone 8 platform. Has Microsoft made any other announcements related to Windows Azure? Yeah, they have a number of uh, updates. M you know, more updates are always trying to keep it fresh. They've got a number of uh, um, updates for Windows Azure altogether, including uh, support for uh, the .NET Framework 4.5 and Python. Uh, you know, we can expect more, and they're looking at, towards building a, a winning platform altogether. I mean, I've written about the uh, possibility of a, a pure Xbox gaming cloud. Um, in the past, as Halo 4 is, you know, one step towards something like that, if that's, you know, indeed their their end game. Um, so, you know, they'll, they'll keep announcing, you know, more capability, more functionality, and I think we'll see more of these things roll out in, in the near future. Well, John, that's our time for today. Thanks so much for your analysis. Thank you. For in-depth coverage on News of the Day and breaking analysis on tech innovation, keep up to date with News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.